Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and the Guppy Geyser has ceased to flop. It turns out over the weekend, so many hermits came through, we basically filled two shulker boxes with empty buckets down below. But before we can refill them, we need to take advantage of the fact that Tango has reopened Decked Out. He's calling it Decked Out 2, and it's several years later, but so maybe it's just Decked Out 2 has opened. I don't know. Anyway, he gave me a bunch of crowns and these frozen shards as a way of saying thanks, pal, for helping out with uh, whatever it is you did with the snow and the terraforming. And he gave me these three cards. Now, the ethereal one is uh, going to go away if we use it. So we're going to save that one for later. We're going to put these two back in there. And we're going to toss our totem from our offhand into there. And I think we are ready to go, go, go. We've got 45 levels worth of experience, which I think is precisely the amount of experience that you need to start a decked out run. So we are going to turn left here, past all the faces, and then we'll see that decked out's available. Okay, so I think we put the frozen shard slightly to the right of the center here, and it should open the door. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa! How does that work? Ooh, how does that work? Well, that's neat. Okay, sleep in the bed. Remove all gears, cogs, and axles. Done. Press this only if you died inside, which I have not done. Okay, sleep in the bed, which I can't until a thunderstorm, so we'll just wait for a thunderstorm and then we'll play some decked out. A lot of steps here. Choose your difficulty. Okay, let's unlock easy. Okay. Step two, place shulker box against lamp. So we've got treasure hunter and sneak in here. Step three, ride the minecart. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a button. Da, 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 decked out. Please keep your hands inside the minecart at all times, viewers. Whoa. I already hear a zombie. I don't know if I'm allowed to kill zombies in here. I know I'm not supposed to punch ravagers, but I think... Other enemies. Oh, yeah, should I be sneaking? Okay, so there's the exit. So we found the exit. That was the first and most important thing we could do, was find the exit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna crouch here, because I don't know where the shriekers are. Maybe I should find out where the shriekers are on my first run. Okay, treasure hunter just activated. Okay, so we can put the map in our offhand. And then it looks like the... Ooh, we're allowed to eat berries. He did say that. So let's go... Ooh, I like this. It's a little campsite. How do you... Oh, yeah, you can't shift while you pick up the berry. So we got a little campsite there. Sneak. Okay, so we... sneak should give us some clank blocks here. Let's run across here real quick and see if maybe that gives us... Using our clank block cards will let us figure out where the shriekers are so we know when to sneak next time. This is just our first run, right? So we don't have to worry too much. Uh-oh. I think that was the clank noise. I think that means I just activated a shrieker. Did one of the clank block things go off? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it did. Okay, so we just need to listen to the sounds here. I'm wondering if the map only works when Tango is logged in. Okay, so there's definitely a Ravager up there, directly in the path of where we need to go. So we need to find a way to route to that room there without that Ravager seeing us. Like this. Um, hmm. Okay, so maybe that wasn't my best plan. Maybe we need to lure the Ravager out or try and go all the way around. Can we go all the way around? Hmm.
If we go around this way, we got this ravine here. I'm guessing I don't want to fall into there. How do... How do we get across? Do we just... Is it just a parkour challenge? Oh, yep, there's a parkour challenge. So that bridge probably closes when you get more um, hazards in. Okay. Anybody see any Ravagers? I don't. Oh, this is a really cool room. It seems like the compass might be somewhere near here because it's swinging so wildly. No, maybe not. Maybe it's one room over. Dang it. Ooh, there's a key. How do we get that? The key is to jump. The jump is to key. Oh, is this a parkour challenge to get to that key? Hmm. Well, stuff is going to be closing the longer we wait. It really feels like... Are we sure that this is not... Yeah, this is definitely not the right room. Let's just keep going. Okay, this is kind of a dead end. All these are closed off now because we've gone it we've been in here so long. Dang it. What's the best way to get around there? Probably up and over is gonna be our only chance here at this point. A lot of paths are closing off to us. Oh, there's a treasure. Not quite it on the compass yet. Dang it. Okay, so that's an example of a door that's now closed, but maybe we can go around. There's a Ravager. I think he might have seen us. Don't like that noise. Is it in here? Is the compass in here? Nah, dang it. Still further. Is it in this one? Feels like it's close, but... Is it up there? Are we supposed to get up there somehow? Do I need a jump boost ability? I don't know how to get up there to get that stuff. Okay. So we saw a Ravager that way. Is it one room over here? That's an ice wall. <sighs> okay, so how do we get... Seek the key, offer it to the kneeling man. So we got a lot of doors that are shut here. We might just be out of luck in terms of... Okay, so here's the key. How do I get it? Do I click on it? Hmm. Okay, so we have a key we can't click. There's a kneeling man there. Okay. Um, here's some treasure, at least. Oh, can we walk around the kneeling man to get to the compass? Nope. Okay. So we might need to walk further this way to go around. The door might just be locked until we find the key, is what I'm thinking. So we, might, in order to open the door to turn in this treasure... We need to seek a key somewhere in here and offer it to the kneeling man to open this. Okay. So how complicated a puzzle is Tango intending us to have here? Is the key somewhere else in the dungeon? Is it underwater? Okay. Like, where would I put a key if I was going to offer it to a kneeling man? Probably somewhere in the room. He's going to want you to find... I'm getting more treasure. 
Hmm. Okay. So, there's got to be some way to get over to where our thing is. Okay. Like, are we sure it's just not, like, in this back corner here? No. Not, like, in this back corner here. Thank you, Bat. Okay, so we definitely need to keep going. With those hazard doors, though, I just don't know what I'm supposed to... Like, I might have to route all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon, is my concern. In order to actually get over there. Okay. Is this a parkour thing? Am I supposed to parkour off that somehow? I don't know. Okay. So... I go back through... There is a Ravager there. But these doors are now closed. So... Maybe we go around this way? Okay, so this is... We're gonna have to go... It's gonna have... If it's gonna lead us all the way around, we're gonna have to go this way first. Here's a crown. Okay, how do we... Just spatially, if we've got to route all the way back around, we have to go all the way. We have to kind of spiral outward. Hmm. Okay, those don't seem great. That doesn't seem great. Neither of these seem great together. Okay. In terms of combinations... Uh, it seems like maybe I was on the right track, but I didn't get there in time. Oh boy, I guess, do we click respawn or title screen? Tango's instructions were unclear. Okay, so... Press this only if you died inside the dungeon. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Your deck and new items will be returned here. I don't think I got new items. Because I didn't live... In the meantime, you may have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. That's thanks to Patreon sponsor Drew Baca. In lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now provide a poetry prompt of my own devising. A deadly combination. You can leave a poetry entry in the YouTube comments section below. It looks like I got my frozen assets back, so I guess I walk out now and that was it that was our first run of decked out thank you so much to tango for making this fantastic game though i did not succeed on my first attempt i have a better idea of what to expect we're gonna get back in there and take a second crack at this the dungeon will need to reset before we can do that so i might as well wrap up this episode here until next time y'all this is joe hills from nashville tennessee Keep adventuring.